Now, you could say that Kenya's Tegla LaRoop is a glutton for a long-distance punishment. Here in Sydney, she's doubling up in both the 10,000 metres and today's marathon. She's only 5 foot 3, nothing wrong with that, but already she's a giant in the 26-mile event, having won 8 of the 15 marathons that she's entered. Jane Hoffen caught up with her, only just. <laughs> The loneliness of the long-distance runner describes perfectly Tegla LaRoop's journey towards the Olympic marathon. Weighing just six stone and standing a little under five feet tall, she's dreaming the biggest of dreams. Kenya has produced 14 Olympic champions, but none has been a woman. Since her 10-kilometer runs to school fueled her passion, LaRoop's been determined to break down the barriers. I went to school without telling my mother. So at six, I went to the river and then I, I took the bath and then I went to school. I didn't eat anything. Because if I had to ask my mother, I need breakfast at six. Definitely she will ask me where I'm going. I didn't want to stay at home and just be like the other uh, female. Because I knew, of course, if you don't have education, maybe at the age of 15 years, you get married and what their life will be. That male-dominated society proved even harder to overcome when LaRue wanted to improve her running talent. She alleges she was used as a pawn in a tribal political dispute which ended with her being barred by her national federation. When I ran in nationally, so the federation started to stop me instead of encouraging me. So I can go to the camp. But later on, they say, okay, Tegla, you are not going to, to represent the country. So they wanted to destroy me, but they were not smart enough. And so she fashioned a new life for herself in Europe. At the age of 17, in 1991, she moved to Germany to train under the coach Volker Wagner and confront the very tradition that she'd fought against. She started to train with men and she tried to, to keep up with them. And then, you know, you do this always and you run over your limit. So then she came down instead of coming up. So then I told her, you have to train like this and this. And all of a sudden she improved and became, and she ran African record and she ran the third fastest time in the world for 10,000 meters. So then I say, well, the, the little change of the training made her to be a very good runner. LaRoop has become the dominant female marathon runner. She won this year's London Marathon comfortably. And in Berlin last September, she broke her own world record with an incredible 2 hours, 20 minutes and 43 seconds. Her world records have been set with the help of male pacemakers, but she still proves she's the fastest woman in marathon history. To come from, from Kenya anyway, I think I was the first uh, uh, African woman to break the, the world record for the marathon. And it's like, I came back uh, to my fellow women in, 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 in Africa. But despite her enormous success on the road, she's not yet translated that into glory at a major championships. This is her third Olympic Games. Her best so far has been to come sixth in Atlanta in the 10,000 meters, the event she hopes to double up in here at Sydney. I don't want to put myself a lot of pressure now when I have injured. I've injured my liver whenever I'm finished. I always believe that God has a purpose for me. If I don't continue, I've done a lot. 